We're young husbands. We're at OTR Studios, where we rehearse once a year. <laughs> um, me and Joe met when we were about 17, 16? 17. 17. I was 17, you were about 13. <laughs> <laughs> I was about 15. Um, we met, at, we used to live outside London in, in Hertfordshire, and we just met kind of on a local band circuit, really. And we, I've, I used to ride with the Beatles band a long time ago, so I met Pete. And then Adam just arrives one day, hug baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, like, I like writing pop songs, um, and these boys just kind of create slightly sonic mayhem. And I don't know. I can't really. It's hard to it's hard to tell from the inside. Somebody told me to say guitar music, which <laughs> is like, I know it's like, but they were just like they said to say guitar music. Yeah, because it's so broad. They say kind of noisy pop. You probably won't Noise. like it. You know, <laughs> it's 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 I suppose it is like. pop. It's like there's like elements of psychedelia in it. There's elements of kraut rock. I listen to. Mainly at the moment, like soul music and Motown, and, but we all listen to so many different things, and it's just, it's just kind of a merge of that, really. Um, you know, a lot of '90s bands we listen to as well. I guess like Stereolab and Broadcast, and uh, I mean Adam has his own kind of listening uh, <laughs> bucket. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. One of the things we like doing is kind of having a, re a repetitive element to the song, so it creates something that's hypnotic and kind of kind of comforting and kind of relax. There's an element of like relaxation in it. But like, you know, like reunion message, there's like kind of the drums, the bass is going, and you kind of forget about that, and it lures you into this sense of getting lost in the song. That's what we want to create. You know? There's some of our tracks that are kind of more elongated and. Um, away from sort of pop structure, we write together. Um, but tracks, but the more pop tracks, I kind of just write at home, put some ideas and bring them into the guys, and they kind of pull them apart, put their own bits to them. It's, it's definitely, definitely a collaborative process. It's only changed in as much as um, the fact that I have people to to play play the tracks with. Like when I'm at home, it's just it's still just me as it was like you know, a few years back. So it hasn't actually changed that much. <coughs> it's what? definitely improved with these guys. Um, the EP. Well, we recorded it in Hackney with um, Jimmy out of the Oscillation. Jimmy, Jimmy out Dem of the Demi out of the Oscillation, and um, uh, Jimmy, who's his partner in um, music. In music. <laughs> in, in, it's not his partner. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, it's, it's kind of you know, it's, it's, the, yeah, it's, a, that, platonic, it's a platonic it's a relationship yeah. that perhaps they wouldn't be too happy with if we didn't quantify them. Yeah. So his musical partner, I suppose. Um, we recorded it there over the course of about how long was it? Three days. Three days. And um, so yeah, we had the songs. Kind of thing, and we, you know, they helped to sort of bring out the, you know, the interest that we were trying to bring out in them. So they weren't just sort of standard pop songs, you know. There was kind of, you know, a lot of noise out of them. If you hear it, you know, it is kind of a pop song, and then, you know, kind of messed up with a lot of noise and extra interest. Messed up with some noise. Yeah. Improved with noise. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a nice uh, flow between the tracks, and there's there's definitely a different kind of feeling that is. Um, I think for us it's about evoking like some sort of definitely a, a mo kind of emotional response within each track. You know, there's a, especially on the EP, there's a different feeling amongst every track. <laughs>